Today in the boot guy, we're talking about the Brahma. Odin. Have you ever seen the Brahma Odin? Well, you should really take a good look at this boot, because this boot is a complete and total piece of crap. Yeah, I know that was a little serious. My wife purchased me these boots for Father's Day. Yes, it was a joke. There's no reason why my wife would ever buy me this $19.97 boot for anything more than to maybe blow it up, set it on fire, or run it through the chipper. After I opened up the present and I saw this and I laughed my ass off, she laughed her ass off, my brother laughed his ass off, everybody had a good laugh at this. It was, it was funny. It really was funny. What I have to say about this is nothing good and it really puzzles me when I look at this from the standpoint of the boot guy why would somebody want to buy this and put this on their foot was the major question that I had for the last two days and I've been trying to answer that question and if it comes down to a matter of price if you're in a pinch you have to have boots for work you're starting a new job you're a little you're a little light in the pocket. I could see this being something that you choose. I could see this working for a week or two at the new job till you get your first paycheck and you buy yourself a real pair of boots. Now, if you're a 12 year old kid and you just want to have a pair of cool looking work boots that look like work boots, something that's different, I could see this working into a style or a fashion statement like that. For guys out there who are pretty flush, who've live their life and who should have a few extra bucks in their pocket, looking at a $20 work boot as an actual piece of daily footwear, or even as a piece of footwear that you're gonna wear from time to time when you gotta work on something, looking at this for that, that is a really bad idea. Why do I think this is a bad idea? Well, okay, let me tell you a few things about this boot. One, the sole is made from a material that's called TP. I believe the full acronym is TPU. When you, when you first touch the material, you're gonna think of one thing, flip-flops, because this is the exact same material that they make flip-flops from. And it can be molded, it cools quickly, and you can pour it into a shape that looks like a boot sole. But this boot sole, is good on one surface. And when I say it's good on this surface, it's only good on this surface in the correct conditions. This sole is only good on rough concrete, level concrete, where there is no water present, where it is a perfect 72 degrees out, not a cloud in sight. You will be safe from slipping with this boot. Now, if you should put anything between you and that concrete, this thing is gonna be like an ice skate. So because the sole is so soft, and if you were to wear this anywhere where there was anything that could puncture the sole, say like twigs from a bush, maybe a, a piece of glass, it's going right through. There's nothing to stop it. This stuff is so soft. I mean, you gotta think, you're a 200 pound man, you're walking through the forest and you step on a hawthorn bush wrong. That thorn is going right through this. I mean, there's nothing to stop it. The material is so soft. There's, there's no footbed, there's nothing that's gonna stop that from going through. So, let's look at the upper. Actually, no, let's forget the upper. Inside, because this is gonna be really quick, inside, the insole is glued in. It's a small little piece of padding. The same padding they probably use to pad the leather. The toe on the inside, the vamp of the boot, which is this section in here, has something in there that doesn't feel like cloth. It feels more like paper mache kind of like a cardboardy type fabric. It's got lots of fibers in it. Not good. Eyelids, speed laces. Eyelids are eyelids. You know, it's really hard to mess up an eyelid. And I think the only way you can mess up an eyelid is if you put it, put an eyelid into a really soft, crappy material, which is what's happening here. But I don't think that these eyelids would ever pull out mainly because I don't think the boot would ever last long enough for you to tie it tight enough to pull them out. The speed laces are cheap as you can imagine. I mean, do I need to say that they're cheap? They're cheap. They're uh, one piece bent, um, pressed 
speed laces. So you know they're just going to bend. I mean, I can bend that with my finger. Imagine what's going to happen. You're trying to tie down your boot. Laces are typical cheap boot laces. Anything you'll find from the $20 range to the $100 range, they usually just use this basic cheap lace. They say it's leather. They claim that this is leather. And uh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't smell like leather. And that's another bad point is when I opened these up for the first time, when I took them out of the box, holy smokes, these things reek. They stink. And it, maybe I'm just biased, maybe because I'm always opening up boots and boot boxes that are, you know, beautiful handmade leather work boots where you can tell that there is somebody that put a lot of time and effort and love into making that boot and they oiled it up and the leather has permeated the smell of the box. The smell that comes off of this thing is horrible. Right now in this area that I'm recording this video, it smells like a flip-flop factory and that is horrible. It really is bad. So the leather is not waterproof. It is not durable. There is not, There is no redeeming qualities to this outside of that it covers up your foot from being sliced from whatever, wherever you're walking. So my wife asked me to find some redeeming quality about this boot. She says, you know, the guys are going to want to know something nice about this. So the nicest thing that I can say about this is that for... A hundred bucks, you can buy five pairs. Um, if you're looking for a really good joke for a really good friend, you buy him a pair of these for his birthday or for Christmas, and you straight face it, you straight man it, and you just pretend like they're really good boots and they should be really happy to own these. Yeah, I really can't find... I mean, outside of the price, really, what really disturbs me the most about this, and this is my closing statement here, okay, is that this boot was actually... Somebody had to make this. Somebody had to put this thing together and they thought this was a good idea. This is the type of stuff that shouldn't exist in the marketplace. So when you hear guys talking about cheap imports and whatnot, and then they'll go into better brands that have decided to use the factories overseas to build an import boot to keep it at like $130 or $150. Mind you, the materials that those guys are choosing to build their boots, the technology they're using to build their boots, the, the CAD systems, the laser cutting, the machine pressing, the direct attach machines that put the soles to the uppers, those are the most superior machines in the world. And because they're putting out so much product, they can build a really good product and keep the price low for that overseas market. But when it comes to stuff like this, this is the stuff that should not exist in the world. There's no reason why we need a $20 work boot. There really isn't. There's no possible job, at least in the 48 continental United States, where this boot should be accepted as a work boot. And there's no reason any man should be putting this boot on as their daily work boot. So this is my first review of a boot that is not favorable. And I understand it. Can, and you can understand it, right? I mean, look at this thing. So that's the Brahma Odin work boot. If you've ever worn the Brahma, please comment below and tell me why. Why you felt this was a good idea. If you were happy with it, please comment below. Let us know what made you so happy to be wearing this as a work boot. And guys, hey, if you're wondering what I'm really talking about here when I say this thing is lightweight and cheap and just, you know, go to where they sell this boot. I'm not going to mention the website, the name, or any of that, but just go to that retail location. Go try a pair of these on. And if you want to shoot a video response of you trying these on and post them below or put the link below, please do. Please, let's... Let's end the world of cheap work boots together. Let's get rid of stuff like this. We don't need it. This is not gonna do anybody's back, knees, or their arch of their foot. I mean, can you imagine a poor guy that had to kick a shovel with this thing? He's gonna break his foot because he thinks he's got a work boot on. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you should have any questions about this boot, about anything, don't email me your questions about this. I don't want to talk about this. Let's move on to something better. Hey, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching. So, the sole is horrible. It is, it is the worst.